एक लड़का लाइफ में आया कटा डाले पानी में गया <laughs> एक दिन दस बार टूटा लाइफ से प्यार से भरोसा उठा मजा चीयर्स वेलकम बैक ऐसा घो आज दिन नहीं है ये भवाने आज तक कठिन है तेरे में से गिना ना हो हर फीलिंग्स आर ओवरफ्लोइंग या मैडम बसा आम सोब जरा गप्पा मारा वेलकम बैक What is the topic for the day? आज हम चर्चा करने वाले हैं स्टीरियो टाइप्स यू नो द इजराइली स्टीरियो टाइप्स ऑफ एस इंडियन एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे आस्क अस और लिटिल बिट ऑफ रेसिज्म ऑल्सो बिकॉज दे आर प्रॉब्लम नॉट अवे बट इट कम्स अ क्रॉस एज रेसिज्म सो वेन समबडी इज आस्क यू हाउ मेनी लैंग्वेजेज डू यू स्पीक वॉट डू दे एक्चुअली आस्क यू डू यू स्पीक हिंदू <laughs> I know, right? I have to correct them all the time. Hindu is not a language. Hindi is a language. Hindu is a religion. Correct. Hindu me there is like a billion languages. Which one are you indicating? At? There are actually two kinds of population in Israel. So one is like the Israeli. Israelis are born and brought up here. So native Israelis who know uh, about India a lot more than people who travel, like who migrate. migrate. Yeah, immigrate. Sorry. Okay, so people who move to this country are like unaware of India. So Israeli is know about the languages and the religion much more than people who come to this country. So like we exactly. have to like educate them, and it's weird because it comes from like oh you speak Hindu, and I'm like no we speak Hindi. Uh, Hindi <laughs> is a language, and Hindu is a religion. So a lot of people mm-hmm. like you know they have a tough time understanding where I come from, where are my roots from, or which country I've come from, and they're like oh, and then when I tell them oh I'm Indian, they'll be like. Oh, but Indians are supposed to be dark skinned, but you're like light skinned. You're not Indian. I'm like, what do you mean? The United States of America has people with all skin tones, and then if South Africa can have white people, then India can have all shades of brown. <laughs> what do you get? You don't look Indian for sure. I know that, but I mostly get Latina. I've been told I look Chinese. Chinese, even Russian for that matter. <laughs> I used to stay in a very Russian uh, locality, which is Ashdod, which is at the southern part. There is a lot of Russians living there. Most of the people in our building were all Russians, and we were the only Indian family in the building. Really? <laughs> so, like me and my mom are very fair toned, whereas compared to my brother and my my dad, because every time they used to just randomly come up to us, start talking Russian, and I'm like, Sleha, Sleha, Mastha. I'm like, Excuse me, but I'm not Russian. I'm actually Indian. There's that. And Chinese, I think the way I put my eyeliner sometimes. it kind of makes my eye small and i was like great apparently great. indian is not an option at all but all sorts of other things are yeah. relevant have you received any racist comments i don't think they're trying to be racist it's just that they are like not well aware i have something else to say otherwise but go i ahead. know you faced a little bit more racism as compared to i have i've been here i think far too long and i've kind of become israeli now hmm So I like gel with the crowd accordingly. I've had a lot of instances in four years. You know what I want to hear because you've not told me all of it. I think maybe part. I've told you everything, no? I'd gone to a restaurant. This was in Tel Aviv, and then this waiter comes up to me and he's like, uh, "Hey, what's up? Are you from India?" And I'm like, "Yeah." Like, how how can you tell? He's like, "By your accent." I'm like, "Great." And then he says, "You're the first good-looking Indian I've ever met." Oh shit! What do you mean? Do you mean like my other fellow Indians are ugly? He's like no, like I didn't. I take it as a compliment. I'm like no, I've taken it as offense. And I was like really taken aback because I'm like, ये ऐसा क्यों बोल रहा है? Like why would he say that? Okay, in terms of this, I can definitely agree that I faced racism. I may have not personally faced it, but people do come to me with like you know things they think about India and kind of like tell me, which is like uh, why? What I do feel is a lot of Indians in Israel. Are more racist towards Indians in the country. Oh my gosh, yes. I need to point this out. They're assholes. They can be assholes. Say I go to an Indian restaurant, okay, mm-hmm. and the waiters and all are Indians over there, and if they they hear you speak Hindi, yeah, the service changes. Are uh, you think so? Yeah. Yeah, and and the second uh, instance was, uh, you know, I put myself out there on a dating app. In my bio, it says Indian Israeli. Yeah, I'm gonna add a screenshot to the video, and this is what he says. Oh no, one of these Indian Israelis. Please leave us alone. You're not welcome here unless you clean our toilets. After she told me this, I was a little bit pissed off, and I, I was like, maybe a screenshot, and maybe you need to take a toilet brush and go and clean his mouth first because he needs it. I was like, why would he <laughs> say that? <laughs> It's so rude. I don't understand why people are just mean to people they've never met online. 
I really don't get how you sleep with yourselves. Honestly, it's really disgusting to me. Like with all due respect. Shanta ra, Bhavani, shanta ho. You can just beep. <laughs> Other comments that I get is, you know, because this stereotype us as Indians. when you do these certain things for example you're not indian if you don't eat spicy food i don't eat spice i know she does but Allah. i don't eat i don't i can't eat spicy food i don't know bachpan se mere ghar mein spicy food nahi banta hai to bachpan se i don't eat spicy food yeah. but this stereotype us as yeah. oh like you're supposed to eat spicy and chili and i'm like but i can't eat that doesn't mean i'm any less indian or you don't have a thick indian accent okay What do you have to say about that? It's like Priyanka Chopra. The minute her flight takes off, the accent changes. It's the same with me. It's the same with me. You go back to India, you you have a more thicker accent because you're talking to either all the bhaiya jis and rickshaw wala and everybody. So aut- automatically the everything just starts coming out that way. But coming when I'm out. here and I'm working with like culturally different people, yeah, your accent seems to be a little bit more lighter and more like according to their taste, so they understand better. It's like if I speak to my Desi friends, it's full on natural. natural. Accent. Accent. not thick thin exactly. it's natural indian accent yeah. and then if i because i work with a lot of americans i've gotten this feedback from them saying that we don't understand because your accent is too thick mm-hmm. so just for the sake of an easy conversation mm-hmm. i switched it a little bit and because i main itna kaam karke bhi unke sath abhi wo aadat si pad gayi hai so mm-hmm. i automatically switch to a lighter accent what do you have to say when they say oh you don't move your head side to side you don't like wobble <laughs> oh my your god head. two days ago somebody at her event asked me to do that <gasps> Who was that? Khaim. Oh, Khaim. <laughs> you didn't see it. No. He's like, you don't move your head. You're not really Indian. I was like, what the? <laughs> I feel like the Western media has portrayed India and Indian in a in a way where you know people like come and walk up to us. They're like, can you do this for us? And I'm like, no. No, yeah, I mean, I I agree. We do it sometimes. We don't don't all. We don't the time. always do it, but it naturally comes. We are more hand movements and expressive. Like, yeah, a lot of people tell me this. You're very expressive. Remember, in the last video, I said all these waiters had a, a resting bitch face. <laughs> so that's what we don't want to do. Like, we're very expressive, very nice. And if you want to acknowledge, like, somebody's comment, we like nod our heads or like just, you know, we're very expressive in terms of body language. Exactly. But that doesn't mean you come to us and tell, oh, wobble your head like that. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to like finding a partner, they say like Indians don't choose their own partner; their parents choose for them. Mm-hmm. If you're talking about Indian matchmaking, it doesn't apply for the entire population. Just saying it right now. I've never been set up, and I, I don't think I can ever do that kind of a marriage. Honestly, I think it's also like the way the dating apps work now. It's technically arranged. You arrange a meeting, and if you fall in love, you go ahead with it. Like, my mom dad ne bola like there is this guy we know, and I'm like no. My mom has also d- done that for me, but I think it's very icky. I don't know why. I'm not saying marry this guy, but meet him at least. Like understand. Yeah, my mom was also the same. Exactly the same. Say, at least da ba. Ha da. Be tu ni. Ta. My God. Coffee so much ya, tantrums. Date var da. Asa na ikela ta asa thona na asa thona. You stay single and you won't have kids. I'm like, where you're going? But come back. <laughs> <laughs> give me some give me a minute so what the whole day exactly like before anything has happened she's got me married and i've had kids and she has grandkids like our parents they fell in love they were not it wasn't an arranged marriage they exactly. had a love marriage yeah. again the concept concept <laughs> okay so for people from the west you know i don't think they have a concept of like love marriage it's like marriage and arranged marriage and then divorce <laughs> <laughs> वैसे इंडिया में भी बहुत सारे हो रहे हैं डिवोर्स सो आई नो यूल हैव अ कॉमेंट फॉर दिस बट आई ऑलवेज बट इंडियंस ऑलवेज लेट ऐसे इसराइलीज होते हैं आई अग्री टू दिस ऑन सम लेवल बिकॉज एवरी टाइम आई हैव टू गो आउट टू मीट समबडी इन इंडिया I'm there before them, but she is. She lives in the area. I come from another city. I'm here before her, and she's ten minutes late. This is like two. Eh, ten minutes? Yeah, two minutes. Eh, two no. minutes. As I was saying, two like, minutes. Ten minutes. Oh na, oh na. No, they actually do say this. If you're before time, that means you're on time. Ted zala na potato, potato, alu potato. Boy, you. No, explain. करने की गरज नहीं है. बोलता था ना कि यू नो इफ यू लिव नियर बाय यू टेंड टू बिकम लेट बिकॉज यू डोंट नो व्हेन टू लीव अब ये कैसे ये शी लिव्स ऑन अनदर प्लैनेट सो शी हैज टू प्लान हर ट्रैवल है कि नहीं इट्स ऑलवेज बीन लाइक द मोस्ट ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स इवन इन इंडिया दे ऑलवेज फ्रिकिंग लेट ओह माय गॉड या आई थिंक दिस इज लाइक अ नाइस रैंट वीडियो एकदम चर्चा एकदम नहीं काय म्हणतात त्याला 
विसरले मी आमचा वार्तालाप झालेला आहे इस्रायलीज लव्ह इंडियन्स दे लव्ह इंडियन्स अँड दे लव्ह द रिलेशनशिप बो दीज कंट्रीज हॅव अँड वन दी आज दीज क्वेश्चन मोस्ट ऑफ दॅम there are some exceptions like i said before they ask out of curiosity just for them to understand ki ye log kahan se aaye hain <laughs> and we want to know them better but unka tone na again like israelis ka tone is not the best so it can It's come on descending because they are very loud and they are on the fix we sir le me are i wanted to say that our episode 2 of coffee pe charcha with desi girl pals लंबा नाम है इसको शॉर्ट कर यार थैंक यू फॉर शोइंग सो मच लव ऑन एपिसोड टू आई थिंक एपिसोड टू वॉज मच मच बिगर हिट बिगर हिट्स एन एपिसोड वन बट आई थिंक बिकॉज ऑफ एपिसोड टू अलॉट ऑफ पीपल वॉच एपिसोड वन ऑल्सो एंड थैंक यू फॉर शोइंग सो मच लव we are the desi girls in israel and we want to like really um kaya mhanta bring out our desiness we sir le we must sir ekdam khup kathin hai sir in short let us know in the comments what you want to discuss about next we would love to enlighten you <laughs> and we will see you next time <laughs> bye, bye.